everybody, this is Jolene from the FacePaintingForumShop.com and I'm here to show you this design using Tag's Dark Ocean. Okay, I'm going to use a MyChem FX uh, petal sponge. It's one of the new sponges we have here at the Face Painting Forum. And I am going to wet that. It's a little bit larger and a little bit softer than the, um, than the Always Wicked Art sponges. And so um, it does cover more area. So uh, I'm going to load up the MyChem uh, Special White over that and then uh, then I will load the Krivlin Fluorescent Sunset on top of that uh, just to make it a little bit more blendable because sometimes those neons don't blend well. They'll uh, lay kind of dry on the skin. So I'm going to go over my eyelid and you see how far up, you know, if you're looking for a bigger wing butterfly, these would be a great sponge for you. And then I'm just going to cover my entire forehead because I'm going for like a sunset look. Because so I'm going to come in and uh, put two dolphins on either side of this. Okay, making sure to blend it into the bridge of your nose and get a pretty decent rounded shape. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to go painting over those edges. Okay, I'm going to come in with a three-fourths flat and tag dark ocean. These are ones that we're uh, probably going to be releasing pretty soon, but I got to get, try these out, and I'm going to make sure I anchor that tail in the white and get grab just a little bit of the black. And you see, I'm making the tiniest little petal, and then coming around in a C shape, and that does most of the work. And you see, I drag the dark down from my belly, and then I just have a little twisting motion for the fins and uh, the tail fin. You're going to see it again. This is not my good painting side, though. The other side I always do better. Making a little tiny petal, and then about halfway in the middle of that, you're going to want to come around in a C shape around your eye. Pressing down and then pulling up on the tip. And you do that for the, the fins on the bottom, too. Okay, I'm going to come back in with a uh, little black on a Mark Reed number two and I'm going to go ahead and put those eyes down just a little dot and you want to come about middle ways on the um, behind the mouth and then I'm going to make a sunshine shape here in the middle of my forehead use a uh, that black and a flicking motion for those rays of sunshine. Now I'm letting that black in the eyes dry so I can come back with a white highlight. Doing a swirl in the center. Um, the sun almost kind of reminds you of almost like a henna design. Okay, I'm just going to do a quick outline on these with the black. You could come back and uh, not outline them with the black if you want and just do uh, glitter gel on the outside. I've done that before too and that makes a nice fast outline. Okay, I'm going to outline the other one and this helps really kind of flesh out those areas that say if like you know my painting wasn't perfect then I can come back in with the outline and fix things. Now I'm going to come around his little nose and outline his nose. And then I am painting the uh, fin on the body instead of underneath. I like the way that looks better. More like the belly showing you. Uh, he's showing you his belly a little bit as he's jumping. Okay, the next thing I'm going to come in with is a low Cornell number two. And I'm going to get a good bit of paint because I'm going to do um, dots with it. And I'm also going to do. Uh, teardrops. I'm going to do um, dots of varying sizes over the top of that just to enclose that raw edge of that purple. I'm going to come in and add that highlight and that brings those little guys to life. And then I'm going to make a dot and outline. Do all the highlights on all the high points. I like doing that dot and then the line for something I need to be super shiny. Okay, I'm going to 
put a dot right in the center and then dots on the inside of that sun just to brighten things up and then I'm going to do some swirling teardrops around that swirl and I'm going to do a series of three very small teardrops on either side I'm going to do another series of three and that kind of makes it more of a mask you could even call it a dolphin mask I'm going to make some water splashes around the dolphin you can see how well that white is loaded up on there I'm going to do that around the fins also like he's jumping out of the water and then I'll come back and add some dots now for that uh, dot paint I'll need to add a little bit more water I'm going to brighten up the eye area by enclosing it with the white and this design is almost done. I'm going to come in and like I said and add those few dots around every one of those little splash areas kind of filling in the empty spots that I see and then thank you for watching like comment and subscribe have a great day